question. Can I break the problem down into smaller parts? Now, take for example, you have a jigsaw puzzle. It's over a thousand pieces. Now, let's say the jigsaw puzzle is to make Superman. Now, the moment you see the puzzle with over 1,000 pieces, you're wondering, how am I going to put this together? Can I ever put Superman together? But then you will decide, can I break this problem down into parts? So maybe I can start by making Superman's face. Most likely, it will be the same color. And after you've done the face, you can ask yourself, okay, now let me focus on the S symbol on his chest. And then I could focus on his boots and then his cape and slowly, bit by bit, Superman emerges. So you get the idea. Big problem, but can we break it down into small parts so that it becomes manageable to deal with the small parts and finally, we will solve the big problem. So sometimes we're confronted with a big problem and we're a little overwhelmed. It's a little bit like uh, trying to uh, drink water from a fire hydrant. It reminds me of that old question, how do you eat an elephant? Figuratively, not really, but how do you eat an elephant? In parts. And that's the lesson we have to apply. Big problem, break it down into small parts and tackle each one piece by piece. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe for more of these informative videos.